We're building a simple shaker. The first thing we do is trace the ends. Then we have to cut out the ends. All right, let's see how these fit. Oh, they're a little big. They're still a little bit big. Because we want these flush. It's hard to get them quite perfectly round. Yeah, still a little bit too big on this end. So let's do a little bit more trimming. Let's see how this works. All right, we've got a nice fit. Pretty good. Pretty good fit there. So let's just tack it in with some uh, some hot glue. Just going to tack in a couple edges here. All right, we'll let that dry. And we know this one is a little bit big, so we're going to trim it down. It's not an exact science, exactly. <laughs> okay, the hot glue doesn't take a whole lot of time to dry. Well, this is still way, way too big. So, let's do, do a little bit more trimming. And this, you know, with these cardboard tubes, you never know um, if they're going to be equal on both ends. Let's try this. needs a bit more of a trim. Try to get off these hot areas here. <laughs> the hot areas. Okay, I think that'll work. Now we have to insert the the vegetable matter that will make the sound. Try some beans. I 
add some split peas. And let's just test this, see how it sounds. I think it needs a little bit more bass. So, do this, a little bit more. Okay, we've got a nice medium tone there. Let's maybe try some more split peas. Give it a little bit more character. Okay, so we're going to put the other end on. See which way fits the best. Nah. Well, that's pretty good. We'll give this a try. Just uh, tack it up here. Three sides. We'll go back to the to the original. Get all these places that uh, didn't get sealed the first time. Let that dry a minute. Okay, so let's uh, let's seal up the rest of this. Of course, we'll have to let this dry for a little bit and see how it sounds. Alright, well let's see how it sounds.